Hello, this is Analysis Pro and today we are looking at some swimming race analysis. So if we play the video and we have our template open, I've got some KPIs on the template that you'll look for in a swimming race. So for example, um, block dip to surface break. I've got these set as manual mode buttons. I've also got these set to record milliseconds. You can do this in your Maxport main menu rather than seconds. So you can have a look at the time between each of those things. I've also got manual mode buttons for what lap it is as well. So I've got zero to 25 meters, for example. I've got descriptors if I wanted to count strokes or kicks. And I've also got auto descriptors as uh, these are this is information that will happen each time, which I won't want to click. So backstroke and athlete one. I've also incorporated a graphic descriptor. So you can see here, I have um, set the graphic descriptor this lane um, with a height of 25 meters if you did want to look at X, Y data after or actually plot where a surface break happened, for example, which we will we will do. So let's go to the beginning of this race. I'm just using the right arrow there to skip to the front. Um, so easy playback controls. And I won't do this 100% accurate, but just as an example, if we go from the block here, to dip, to surface break, it's recording that um, by the millisecond. You can see my play by play table here that those registers have registered um, with also the category um, descriptor data. So athlete one and backstroke. Um, if I wanted to, I could use the lap um, buttons here that I've got set as manual mode. So if it was this lap, for example, 25 to 50, I could have that and it'll be recording the time of these two. If I wanted to record strokes, I could click each time there was a stroke and also you can do that with kicks. And that data can come in really handy when it comes to looking at your dashboard. Um, for example, if you had an Axport Elite, you could divide that stroke count by 0 0.6 and you could get a strokes per minute um, reading as you were going uh, live, if you were coding live. So let's go back to using the graphic descriptor. If we wanted to, um, if we ignore the video for a moment, at the beginning, if we wanted to go block, um, dip, and then surface break, and we wanted to know uh, where the surface break come up, you can use the graphic descriptor and actually plot that there. So it's giving you a visual graphic um, view of uh, where these things are happening as well. So let's go over to the timeline and see what that looks like. So those registers that I have made will populate into the timeline. You can easily skip up and down these and view and you've got the exact times in milliseconds uh, when they happened. You can also go to surface break and use the graphic descriptor and you can actually look at where those happened and that will take you to those um, points as well where we, where we had them. Um, also, you can use the dashboard to look at the data uh, labels and charts, bring in any data that you've coded along to. Thank you very much for watching.